earth, but how many people actually know about the man who created those magical wonderlands? How many know just how extraordinary this man really was? This man who came from meager beginnings and became a multi-billionaire. Walt Disney was one of the most famous entrepreneurs of the 20th century. He was able to achieve this with a dream and an imagination beyond comparison to any one of his time. His talent and magical visions were an inspiration to people of all ages. Is there anyone in the room who can say they are not familiar with Walt Disney? You may not be familiar with Walt Disney the man, but you are certainly familiar with his work, either by movies, animated characters, or his theme parks. We all know and love Walt Disney. I've been fascinated by Walt Disney for as long as I can remember. He had a special gift for bringing complete happiness to both children and adults alike. I have watched almost every Disney movie ever made as a child, as well as with my own children as an adult. During my research, I discovered many facts about this legendary man. I will discuss his early life, how he created his empire, and the legacy that continues to entertain millions and profit by overwhelming amounts even after his death. Let's begin with his early life. He was born into a family who followed a restless father through a series of jobs and relocations. According to the Journal of Popular Culture, Walter Elias Disney, better known as Walt, was born December 5, 1901 in Chicago. His brother was quoted in the journal saying, Paul always had eggs in his pants. He could never stay in one place long enough to warm a seat. He spent most of his life in the Midwest, and his most vivid memories are when he lived on a farm in Missouri, where his father worked as a farmer for approximately two years. So how did his career begin? Walt began working on his career while attending McKinley High School in Chicago. The journal states his studies concentrated on drawing and photography, and at night he attended the Academy of Fine Arts to enhance his drawing abilities, which led to his experiment in animation. Walt created an animated character we all know as Mickey Mouse. On December 21, 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated musical feature, was released. And during the next five years, other full-length animated classics such as Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi were released. He was one of the first producers to venture into television. According to the Just Disney website, he began producing TV programs in 1954, and the Mickey Mouse Club was a popular favorite in the late 1950s. He was among the first to present full-color programming with this wonderful world of color in 1961, and during this time, Walt Disney and his family visited many amusement parks. His dream was to build an amazing park, and that dream came true as Disneyland Park opened in 1955. According to Just Disney, Magic Kingdom, a fabulous $17 million creation soon increased its investment tenfold, and by the beginning of its second quarter of century, the park entertained more than 200 million people. According to Just Disney, in 1965, he became involved with the problem of improving the quality of urban life in America, which led to the design of an experimental prototype community of tomorrow, better known to us all as Epcot. Disney purchased 43 square miles of land in Florida, where he began plans for Disney World, a new theme park which would include his Epcot Center. He did not live long enough to see the opening, but after his death on December 15, 1966, the park opened in 1971. To give you an idea of just how much this man's creations are worth today, according to the Themed Entertainment Association 2008 attendance report, 118 million people visited the 11 Disney theme parks. Today, Walt Disney's animation motion picture studios and theme parks have developed into a multi-million dollar television motion picture vacation destination and media corporation that carries his name. As of 2007, the company had annual revenues of over $5 billion. To sum up the life of this extraordinary man, 
Although after 1966, the Disney creations were not Mr. Walt Disney's creations. It was, however, his visions and his imagination that started it all. Walt Disney was one of the most recognized producers in the world, and his corporation that we now know as the Walt Disney Company has annual revenues well into the billions. His career spanned over a period of 43 years, and during his lifetime, he produced well over 600 films, both shorts and full length. And with the help of his brother Roy, the Walt Disney Company was founded. We discussed his early life, the development of his huge empire, and how even after his death, his legacy lives on. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with a quote from Walt Disney himself. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And what a dream he created for us all to enjoy.